All right, so it's been a while since I updated you guys on the adventures of the adventures thing here on YouTube. Um, if you follow on Instagram and Facebook, you kind of know what we've been up to. Since our last video, a lot has happened. Did Route 66 start to finish? Um, we ended up staying in San Diego for 10 months. I was working with uh, my friends over at AutoWorks, um, working in-house, doing content for them, and uh, working on Mustangs when I got the chance. Um, I learned a lot and had a lot of fun over there, for sure. Um, I'm definitely gonna be incorporating some of their parts uh, while I put the Mustang back together. As you can see, the Mustang is currently in pieces. Um, I'll get to that. <laughs> Um, after San Diego, we ended up parking the car at my dad's house for a month and uh, we ended up going to Mexico. Uh, we had no plans other than we wanted to go to Mexico and spend time there. So we ended up uh, going to Playa del Carmen. We spent a month uh, hopping Airbnbs. It was incredible. We had so much fun. Um, you know, it was really cool seeing the different culture, getting a little more, um, getting a little more knowledge of what goes on around the world, not just kind of what's going on uh, around the U.S. After Mexico, we came back to um, Oregon to pick up the Mustang from my dad's house. We drove the Mustang up to Portland, um, take a look at the rear end. We had another bad axle bearing. We need to figure out what's causing that because that's the second one in the last. 50,000 miles or so. We need to take a look at that. Something that's gonna happen here probably in the near future. Um, but right now we're focusing on the engine, the fuel system, um, and the wiring, and just getting everything cleaned up. Oh, Bubba. Where'd it go? It's in there. Okay, after we left Oregon, we ended up going down to Texas, um, spent a few weeks in Texas, and then we came up here to New Hampshire. Um, came up here because um, I'm working for Stealth, and um, they're based out of here. I can get good content here, and um, it's going to be it's going to be a cool place to spend the winter, experience our first New England winter. We're really excited about that. So I actually got invited out to Ford headquarters in Detroit to be a part of the seventh generation Mustang reveal, um, which is like highlight of my freaking life. <laughs> um, so I drove out to Ford um, from New Hampshire to Detroit. It was about 13 hour drive and um, got there, spent a few days there, was part of the stampede to the reveal and um, that was just such an incredible feeling to be at Ford headquarters and be a part of the actual video reveal of the seventh generation Mustang. Um, just so grateful to Ford and friends of Ford and everybody else who made it possible um, to just experience that truly incredible, incredible uh, event. After I got home from Detroit, we actually uh, were driving around for a couple weeks and then all of a sudden we got uh, a coolant leak. Um, the coolant link ended up being a broken head bolt. Um, so right now I'm in the process of tearing down the engine, pulling the engine, and we're gonna be uh, checking out the bottom end, tightening the chain, uh, water pump, just kind of cleaning it up, making it uh, dead nuts reliable to hit our next, um, our next future road trips. So we're gonna work on the Mustang, fix it up, get it road worthy again, and um, clean up all the nasty wiring that's going on that has just been an accumulation of um, get it working to get back on the road. Um, everything has always been get to the next destination, get the car back on the road for the next destination. Um, and now we can finally take a step back and say, hey, these things need to be addressed. The wiring issues, the fuel issues, um, if you follow on Instagram, you would have seen that uh, we're actually having our inline fuel pump overheat and shut down and just kind of leave it stranded on the side of the road until it cooled down and uh, turned back on. Um, so we actually got Tanks Inc. Uh, partnered up with them and they're going to be sending us a um, 6970 fuel tank, which is um, uh, 22 gallon instead of the 20, instead of the 16 gallon. 
uh, fuel tank, so it'll have an extra, a little extra capacity. It has the EFI baffles in it. It has the in-tank uh, EFI pump. Oh, thank you. We gotta work on it now. Okay. So we're gonna work on it now. Um, but yeah, stay tuned to see um, all the little things that we're fixing on it and um, what we got going on next. Can you say hi? Say hi. Okay, we're gonna work on the Mustang. I just wanna sincerely say thank you to all of you who have been following for years and the friends I've made along the way. Um, the whole adventure was amplified by the fact that we had friends in every state that we went to. Um, we literally went to events in every state and met people from the internet. <laughs> and, um, it's crazy to me the effect that social media has. It's not just, you know, memes and whatever it is, but <laughs> you're actually connecting with real life other people and like going out and experiencing life and meeting these other people that you're friends with from the internet is just an incredible feeling to me. Um, and it really, it really kind of makes the world feel like a smaller place. Um, and uh, I'm just excited for all the friends that I've made along the way. I'm so grateful for you all. And um, I'm just excited for this next chapter of Adventure Staying and um, getting this thing back on the road and seeing more of you guys. Um, so thanks again for following. Make sure you subscribe to stay up to date on what we're working on. Always chase your adventure.